Hi everyone, my name is Caitlin Michael or KShado Photos on Instagram and I'm a Lens Baby Ambassador here to show you what is inside the new um, Optic Swap Macro Kit by Lens Baby. So let's open it up and take a look. All right, so the first thing you're going to notice whenever you open up your kit is that you have a Composer Pro body with the Sweet 50 inside. Um, you also have the Soft Focus 2 optic um, that comes with the aperture discs. Um, there are four aperture discs inside and we'll take a look at those later. And you will also get three um, macro filters that can be put on your optics. And in addition to all of that, you get a really fun lens cloth with the Lens Baby logo and of course the reminder to shoot extraordinary. All right, so let's take a look. So if you're not familiar with the optic swap system, um, you need a housing, which is the Composer Pro 2 this part here, and an optic to go inside. The optics are kind of like little lenses that are lightweight and great to travel with, and um, you can swap them out very easily um, to change the effect that you want as you are shooting. So, in this kit, you're going to get the Composer Pro 2, the Sweet 50, and the Soft Focus 2. The Sweet 50 is a lens that provides a, um, a sweet spot of focus. It's, um, it's kind of like a circular focus and with the Composer Pro 2 you can move and adjust where you want that sweet spot focus to be. Um, and with the Soft Focus 2, um, this optic is one that gives a vintage feel almost to images when it's um, open at its widest apertures like from 4 all the way down to 2.5 you get a very soft feel over top of your images they're still in focus but it's a softer feel to them hence the name soft focus um, and in the soft focus you can pop in these aperture discs that um, help to, they can change what the bokeh looks like, but um, the ones that are circular, there are three that are circles. They are there to kind of um, disperse where the softness is in the image. Um, the farther out you go, the softer the image. So this helps to make it more even throughout if that's the look that you are going for. And there's also, this one is my favorite, it is the Sunburst um, Aperture Disc and it gives a beautiful star-like look to bokeh. But anyway, to use these, you just pop it in to the middle. There's magnets in there that hold it in place. And when you want to take it out, you have this handy little tool here. You pop the cap off. There's a magnet on the end and you can pull it out using the magnet. And everything is stored in the little case. So those are the aperture discs and they can be used for some really fun effects with your soft focus. All right. And then these um, macro filters. A lot of people don't know that these filters can be stacked on top of each other. I am someone that goes for the full macro effect. So more often than not, you will see me with all three of these macro fil filters um, stacked on top of each other on the end of my lens because I want to get as close as possible. So the way to do that is, let me pull them all out, they all screw into each other so it makes it really easy. Um, here I'm going to just 
screw it on. Take the next one, screw it on. So there I have my three macro filters stacked on top of each other to give me the most macro effect possible. And then I take my lens here, this uh, Sweet 50, and it just screws right in to the top of the lens. Oops. There we go. Sometimes it's hard to get it all to line up correctly. Um, be sure that you check to make sure that your um, aperture then is set where you want it to be after you take the uh, macro filters on and off because oftentimes when you're twisting them on, um, it's going to change what your aperture setting is. Um, so I like to keep my sweet 50 all the way open at 2.5 or 2.8 because I want to get all effect. You're going to notice with me, I love all the macro, give me all the effect possible, wide open, the most macro possible, and I'm a happy camper. So here we have the Composer Pro with the Sweet 50 and the macro filters on top. And this, all I have to do is attach this to my camera and I'm good to go. All right, so now say, I'm finished using the Sweet 50 and I want to switch. I want to now use the Soft Focus 2. What do I do? Well, first I'm going to take my macro filters off. Put them down. They're in my case so it's nice and safe. Put my cap back on. And I'm going to twist the top ring of my Composer Pro um, so that this opens all the way up. Then. I just turn my optic as far as I can um, counterclockwise and it unlocks and pops out. And then I'm going to do the same thing, pop my soft focus two out of the um, carrier case or out of the cap I guess. Slide it in. Again it's going to adjust your apertures because you're twisting everything but that's okay. Um, and here it is. It's inside the case so it's good to go. And now I'm going to take my soft focus too. I'm going to line up my dot. Well it's going to start not lined up, but I'm going to pop it in and twist until my solid dot is in line with the other solid dot. It's locked into place. I'm good to go. And now I can use my soft focus. I'm going to take off the cap, put on all the macro filters. But you know what? This time maybe I don't want to go full macro. So if I just want one of them or two of them, I can slide off the ones that I don't want. So here I have the plus four macro on my soft focus two optic in the Composer Pro and I'm ready to go. Pop this on my camera and I'm ready to go have some fun taking some pictures. And the caps also go on top of the macro filter. So sometimes if I know I'm going to use this again later in the day or tomorrow, um, sometimes I'll just leave the macro filters on, pop the cap on, and it's ready. I don't have to worry about taking the macro filters on and off. So yeah, that is what you are going to find in your, um, in your kit for the Composer Pro Macro um, Kit. So enjoy, have fun, I can't wait to see what you create.